everybody. Welcome to the Hallmarkies podcast. I am so excited to bring with you another interview with a talented director today. And I am film critic Rachel Wagner. I'm here talking with director Brian <laughs> Herslinger. <laughs> and Brian, thank you, you so much. You said the last name right. You did, did I? Yes. Yes. This Great is job. exciting. <laughs> so Brian, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. Uh, thanks for having me. I'm, I'm pumped and, and I love your podcast. So this yes. is exciting. Well, that's, that's awesome. And we really appreciate it. And you have had a, a pretty, in my opinion, a pretty great winning streak. So I'm excited to talk oh, with you. you. But what we like to do with all of our guests is we ask you to introduce yourself and to tell us what inspired you to become a director. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, well, I'm Brian Herslinger. I'm a director and a writer. And um, I, I've been, I did some on air stuff for like the Tonight Show with Jay Leno. I was on there for three years, but it was all about movies. I was the, 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 the independent filmmaker correspondent oh, okay. for Leno. <laughs> um, so, but for me, uh, I've always wanted to direct movies, always wanted to make movies. And where did that start? It started probably when I was four, and the first movie I saw in the theater was Empire Strikes Back. And that blew my mind. And uh, I, I started loving movies from there. I didn't know I could actually go into making movies for a living until uh, I took the risk in high school, where, where instead of going into veterinary medicine, I said to my parents, I want to make movies. And they're like, okay, you better be successful at it. So <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Uh, and and, and, and that, was, uh, that, was, that, that was the journey right there. But I always, always loved movies. Do you grow up in the States or in Canada or? Oh, no, I grew up in, uh, in Jersey. I grew up, uh, I was born in Brooklyn and uh, grew up in South Jersey in a town called Marlton mm -hmm. and uh, couldn't be further away from Hollywood without a passport. Like it was, you know, it, it was just a whole world away growing yeah. up and uh, just kind of fueled the dreams of, of, hope and 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 mm -hmm. just kind of wishing to be able to be a part of it so but your parents yeah, were like great. go for it uh, you better do it you better net rock <laughs> you better do a great job they're very very supportive and my mom and dad are very supportive and the funny part about it is i'm jewish and now i'm the go-to kind of christmas director yeah uh, for these movies <laughs> and uh, which i love the irony of that yeah uh, but but for me growing up i love christmas Loved uh -huh. it, loved it, loved it. And I don't know if it's because we didn't have Christmas, you know, we didn't have mm -hmm. the tree. We didn't, you know, we, we did Hanukkah and all, all of that. But, but for me, it was never, you know, the religious side of things. It was more about the traditions. It was more about, uh, man, I just, I want to stay up and see if Santa literally comes down that chimney. Like I really want to know if he's coming down. Um, you know, and I, I still, even, even growing up without it, it still always felt like the most magical time of year. And, uh, I've always loved Christmas movies, the good ones, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, what do you, what would you say outside of the Hallmark and Lifetime and, and kind of TV movie space, name your top three favorite Christmas movies. I mean, that's a hard question. Uh, I, <laughs> I, I mean, I think my top three, I mean, I, I am very much a sucker for anything Christmas Carol related. Right. I, okay. I love okay. that story. Uh, and so, but I also, I love It's a Wonderful Life is great. Uh, and I mean, I love Charlie Brown. Uh, there you go. Look, I mean, you can't go wrong with either of those. I, I think a Christmas story has to yeah, be I love enough. that. Did you like a Christmas story? Okay. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Um, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, Is that that, you? Do you no, like that? absolutely. Yeah. No, I, I do. I, I have very fond memories of that because uh, my grandma was very, very important to me in my life. And she just actually just passed away this summer and oh, uh, she would watch that movie and you'd be worried that she wasn't going to like breathe properly because she was laughing so hard. And particularly, I, I just love the whole scene where they're like, Grace, say Grace. Yeah. <laughs> Why you didn't say Grace? And we would always say that to my oh, grandma because yeah. she couldn't, sometimes couldn't hear the best. Grace. <laughs> That's Grace. great. And that then she great. says the, the, the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh that. my God. Yeah. It's classic. It's, it's, really it's classic. I mean, you know, the home alone, die hard. Yeah, I, I mean, all of these are Christmas, Christmas movies. Home Alone and, is a and, like formative movie of my life. It was the first. It's I actually a formative saw it. movie of generations. Yeah, it, I, it, it really is. All yeah. of these are. I saw it when I was nine with my <laughs> with my grandma, and I was. It was the first movie that I really remember just laughing really hard at, and and I just think it was the most hilarious thing. <laughs> oh yeah. And, well, I mean, you know, it's 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 fun because. It, that those movies are, are the types of Christmas movies that, that made me want to make Christmas movies. Yeah. <clears throat> and, and for me, it's just about how do you, how do you get, how do you capture the magic? How do you capture the spirit of the holiday? Uh, the family element is a big deal in these Christmas movies. Um, and that's something that I've always, you know, aspired to do in my movies. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, you know, Twinkle All the Way, just to segue into that, but Twinkle All the Way is a, is a is a Christmas movie about family, yeah. and and that that's the root of it, that's mm-hmm. the heart of it, uh, and and it's about you know you know broken families, you know marriages that didn't work out for whatever reason, whether it was death or whether it was divorce, that uh, these two people find themselves uh, starting over in, yeah. in 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 relationships and merging their respective families and. Uh, and, and that's something that I loved. And, and, you know, my wife, Megan, uh, and I wrote the movie together mm-hmm. and it's the first movie we ever wrote together. Yeah. It's, it, it, we never did it before and she's never written anything before. And it was like the easiest process of getting the movie made. So yeah. it was, I, I think it's because we wrote it from the heart, from the, uh, idea of wanting to make, you know, Christmas Vacation, Home Alone, It's a Wonderful Life, yeah. like, you know, just wanting to do that and, and, and tell a, a current story uh, that, that people can relate to. Yeah. We'd like to take a second and thank our sponsor for this episode of the podcast. They are the good folks over at HelloFresh. They're the good folks over at HelloFresh. Now you can get nine free meals with HelloFresh by going to HelloFresh.com slash Hallmarkies9 using code Hallmarkies9. The cool thing about HelloFresh is that not only are they America's number one meal kit uh, company, but they also just make it very easy. They break down the steps of your recipe. So it's not just the ingredients, but you get a, a recipe card that breaks down and has a photo of each step. So that way, when you're cooking, you know, okay, at this phase, this is what it's supposed to look like. And you can be like, well, I'm close, maybe not so close. And you can kind of know what, what you're, what you're doing. I also really like it as a single person because I, I often will make a recipe and then have like a whole bottle of sauce or a whole thing of spices that I'm not going to use for anything else for a long time. And that can be a little bit frustrating. And with HelloFresh, you just get just the spices that you need, just the sauce that you need. And so it, it's really great for me and my lifestyle. And it also got me to kind of cook outside of my normal uh, rut, I guess. And uh, I was able to try some new flavors and new things I wouldn't have tried otherwise. It's also, it, it's, it's very easy. It saves you the time that you would have spent going grocery shopping. Check out HelloFresh, get nine free meals with HelloFresh. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Hallmarkies9. Use code Hallmarkies9. I just loved it so much. I, I mean, I love Sarah. I think she is just I, I I've never I didn't ever watch uh, Grey's Anatomy, so uh, I I was unfamiliar with her. And then of course Christmas Pen Pals was so I good. Heard you talked about that in your hey there. Oh, hello. hello, hello. Oh my hello. God! Look at that timing. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, did you just hear, we are did you just hear Rachel? Hey guys. Did you just hear Rachel gushing? <laughs> We no. did not hear Rachel gushing yet, but we heard a little bit before. <laughs> oh my God, guys! We yeah. literally started talking about Twinkle about eight seconds before you yeah, dialed no, it. I'm so perfect. your timing. timing. <laughs> well, yeah, Rachel, I love it. Sarah, this is Sarah and Ryan. Sarah Drew and Ryan McParland. This is Rachel Wagner, and she yes. she loves uh, you guys. Loves you guys. I do. I Aww. well, this is so exciting, and Sarah, <laughs> so. I I loved Christmas Pen Pals so much. I think it is one, one of the best. I'm not even kidding. One of the best TV movies, Christmas movies that I've ever seen. I loved it. So, oh my gosh! Thank you. <laughs> hey Ryan, Ryan, should you and I go get some hot chocolate while they talk about this? Yeah, you know what? 
I'm just yeah. going to make a pot of coffee here. And we just I'll be right over. Themselves. I'll be right over. Don't worry about it. I just love the way. I just loved the whole concept of people writing letters at Christmas and all the different little relationships. And it was so good. I would love to have you on the podcast okay. just to talk about that movie. <laughs> so we well, you better hurry. Oh, thank Sarah's... you. That was a really fun one. Yeah. Was... yeah. Sarah's about to get on a plane for Vienna. <laughs> I know. And to do another I am. Christmas movie. In four, in four hours, and I have oh, not packed yet. So. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I mean, after... It was my daughter's birthday yesterday. Oh. It was my daughter's birthday yesterday, so I did not get any packing done. And so today is, is a bit of a whirlwind, and we had, like, a very tearful goodbye when I dropped oh. her off at school. Oh. Oh, no. really struggling i know she just it's so hard it's oh. so hard to go away from the little ones i know it really oh. is i mean i love what i do but it's so hard and then the, and my husband's going with me so it's like both of us oh, wow. are leaving them for 10 days oh, i know no. so <laughs> it'll be crazy but yeah it'll well, be back good. before you know it hard. I know, exactly. Well, especially during wishing this, i was back in vienna during christmas that's <laughs> tough too during a, I know, but we'll be back. In time, we'll be back in time for all of our festivities. The one thing oh, we're missing good. is their little Christmas concert, which is so sad. Aww. But their auntie's gonna go, and their nanny's gonna go, and they're gonna record it for us. So. Oh, that's good. Aww, that's good. Oh my god, this is starting to sound like script here. <laughs> I was just saying, so that, this is starting to sound like a movie. Yeah. I love it. Are um, we pitching, well, an, are we pitching you, another you, movie now? Yes. Yeah, it's already happening. Ra- Rachel's producing. Uh, it's going to be. Okay. It's, good. it's air. It's airing before you get back. Actually. It's, <laughs> well, it's crazy. Rachel, I mean, after okay. listening after listening to your podcast, we started this little text chain, and we were laughing so hard. How you were like, you know, she was just so believable as that type A planner. <laughs> 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 well, wait, Rachel, oh Rachel, literally, Sarah texted us her that she, she made like a calendar of when and how she was going to promote Twinkle all the way, the time, <laughs> the day, what she was going to put up there. And, and we're like, it's, it, okay, Cadence, great. This oh, is my it. Gosh. It has a all right, so can we just feel it out? Can we just like, just, just, you know, wake like, up? No, it's irresponsible, and... Ryan, to feel it out. It is irresponsible, and you won't get done what you need to get done. Oh, well, Ryan, I'll tell you what, Ryan, it worked. Ryan did great too. He was he was the one spearheading the Christmas pajama yeah, see, photos of this year. Yeah, but he uh, used my list. I'm just yeah, gonna well, say, I, did. I edited together. I edited together these videos. I'm gonna take a lot of credit right now. I mean, you got oh, you did the whole photo shoot, which I did not do. I then that was very fancy and amazing. Well, you inspired the photo shoot because you said you did the <laughs> Christmas pajamas last year and you're gonna oh, do it yeah. again this year. And I said, all right, well, how can I one up? <laughs> <laughs> it's all it's all a competition i guess oh there you go. i'm gonna hire a professional to get in my house <laughs> right. i gotta i gotta i gotta jump in here rachel because you're you're kind of catching up to this relationship I, this is like that, the best that, day of my that, life i mean this is amazing. <laughs> oh, thank you <laughs> well i want to tell you i, I want to tell you that that neither ryan nor sarah nor myself we none of us worked together before Mm-hmm. And um, Ryan and Sarah, I don't think you guys had met before you guys were, were cast in the movie, right? You guys met in the airport? Yep. We met, and well, yeah, we met, a, we met at Customs. And the first we, thing Ryan said to me is, I've just, been stalk- I've, been, I've just been stalking you on Instagram, so I know <laughs> who you are. <laughs> I literally looked up. I was on Instagram looking up Sarah Drew. I go, I got to know what she looks like in case I bump into her. And I look up. <laughs> And on my Instagram is Sarah, and she's like just looking around to go where? Where am I going to go? What window do I go to? And I'm like, um, I think we're working together. <laughs> I have that, well, Instagram it, it kind Instagram of unraveled, you, so I knew who you were. What? It kind of unraveled though, because then we went to get our bags, and it was just a complete chaos getting the bags and the, oh yeah he told me he was going to wait for me and then he did it he just abandoned me i was like this well, is a great first impression i go did i <laughs> henry I where i'd wait for her? and then i'm looking around and i couldn't find her i go well i better just get through to the other side and then I go, oh this is going to be one of those awkward things where we end up taking separate cars and we're in the same car i don't know what's happening here and then i get in line at starbucks and she finds me well you wearing a red coat 
I was looking for no. the red coat. You were. I was wearing that. a green, gre- a very green bright coat. green coat. Yeah. Green coat, you guys are... I was like, oh, it's so Christmassy. That's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> it's my it's travel been... coat, guys. It's my travel coat. <laughs> <laughs> but it, sure, sounds like your, it sounds like your it sounds like your mute coat. coat. <laughs> But hold on, talk about uh, how you came up to line and stuff. I go, hey, can I get you something? So I didn't wait for you on the other side. It was, she's like, did you ditch me? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, so, I'm like, can I, I get like, you nice something? nice to meet you. Did you just ditch me? And then you asked me what I, 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 I walked, I like, paced back and forth on all the carousels trying to find Ryan pulling my luggage now because I had just gotten it. And I was like, I don't know where he is, but okay, I guess I love go through. And then he's waiting in line. He's like, what do you want? And I couldn't make a decision. I just and literally... And I had like 10 people behind me. And she's like, well, I, sometimes I'm in the mood for like a frappuccino. But now, I don't know. Would the caramel, the Americano be better? I go, oh, my God. <laughs> Whatever you feel like. Whatever comes to mind first. Yeah, go, yeah just go with what feels right, Sarah. Just go, so, go, right. go with how you feel here. And then I think we're already in the movie. We are already. Yeah, there. they're already. Well, that was <laughs> that was the thing. That's what I was going to say was that when we started making the movie and we uh, it, it, honestly, even before we rolled camera, it, it was like everybody already knew each other so well and got along so well. And and yeah, just I couldn't have asked for a better Henry and a better cadence uh, to, to anchor this oh. movie. And it was so easy. It was yeah. so easy. I'd love to take credit Aww. for directing the, 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 the these performances, but it, they were just naturally so great. And um, they both are going to pay me 20 bucks, by the way. But anyway, <laughs> Rachel, it's all good. Uh, yeah. It was really magical how it came together. It, it, yeah. it doesn't it happen that often. Things. That was no. great. No. And Brian, tell, tell the history of like how Megan and you, uh, you know, came up with the idea and where you were and how that came about because it was like the universe brought it all back around. Oh my um, God! No, it, it's well. I'll, I'll give it. I'll give the short, the short, short version. version of it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I had directed another film called A Christmas Switch, and uh, on that film, uh, a lovely uh, director, uh, or actually, she's she's in the process of di- uh, becoming a director. Fire so director. she shadowed yep. me. Yeah, her name's Kristen Richardson, and we hit it off great and everything. And at the end of the uh, at the end of the experience, uh, she wanted to say thank you and and wanted to invite me and my wife, Megan, to her husband's show in Vegas. And turns out her husband's Kevin Richardson from Backstreet Boys. And so... <laughs> no big deal. No yeah. big, no big deal. deal. Okay. <laughs> and, and side note, my wife is a huge Backstreet Boys fan. And me, I'm like, they're fine. I don't, you know, I, I don't think I know like more than two songs. Cut to, we, we get to Vegas go to the show. I am singing every single song louder than anybody else in that freaking auditorium. And I am like freaking, I, I realized that I'm a huge Backstreet Boys fan in the show. Yeah. And so, you know, the shirt That's stayed hilarious. on, but I was, I was singing the whole time. Anyway. Yeah. So while we were there, because we, we had time to ourselves, we didn't have the kids with us. We started, uh, we had breakfast and, and, uh, started talking about the great Christmas light fight show. And, and um, it would be neat if we had characters that actually went to houses and decorated houses. And that's how it started that wow. because of that trip to Vegas. And it turns out that Kevin and Kristen are, are best friends with Ryan and his family. They live near and each other. Was, they, oh. yeah. And through a random contact, I was the one to set Kristen up with Marguerite Henry, who I'd worked with before, who was working with Brian and so the whole thing and that's how she shadowed around. me yeah. Said, yeah so that's so then crazy. when i got the offer for this i said wait a second i know that name brian herslinger and i know and my my manager was the biggest uber fan of sarah drew um <laughs> no i am episode. the biggest uber fan <laughs> <laughs> sarah drew <laughs> Yeah, but so it just all came, when it came together, I go, it just really feels like this is the universe is putting us all together so for a cool. reason. And it, no, it feels like that's going to continue. So, yeah, oh, it's continuing. Yes. It's <laughs> so, continuing. But also a similar thing. Ha- Ryan, I don't know if you know that a similar thing happened with me and Sarah. We've actually known each other. Oh, for yeah. Years, I got, I, before I even got before. Yeah. Before I even got the offer. Um, I first of all got an email from a friend of mine who's worked with Brian and Margaret and loves them. 
And she's like, you're about to get an offer and you have to say yes because they're the most incredible people. And oh my gosh, you're going to have the time of your life. And she like went crazy. And then I read it and it was so cute. And then when Brian and I chatted on the phone, we have like 10 mutual friends. Uh, uh, what, his mentor was my um, producing director on Grey's for years, who I love. And yeah, I mean, there are just like so many wild connections. That's so oh, it, yeah. was, it I, was very and, and much I, like the universe brought us all together, for sure. So for sure. And then and then throw in Brian Sills, the guy who played Lex, Henry's brother. Oh, my God. Harrison. Yeah. That was uh, so fun. Brian we and just I did all it. fell in love yeah. with. Oh, yeah. No, I was just going to say, uh, you know, talk about everybody getting along. We, you, you have Brian and Sarah getting along like a house on fire. Throw Brian Sills into the house, the house blows up. I mean, but, it was like yeah. the three of them together. The three yeah. of them together was, was a joy. And here's the thing about Brian. Brian and I, I directed Brian like 10 years ago in a movie. And uh -huh. he stayed friends. I love the guy. And he's so talented. And, and one of the, uh, as Megan and I were writing the movie with, with the Lex character, I was writing it for Brian. I, I was just, I, I, I knew his, how good he was. I knew how great he was with improv and how charming he could be and how sweet he comes off and is in real life. Yeah. And so when, when we got the approval for Brian to play Lex, for me, the, the, the triumvirate was there. I was so ecstatic about getting on the set with these guys. And I couldn't wait for Brian and Sarah to meet Brian and vice versa. And then it just took off. It was so, so great. When you guys found out that Leslie Ann Warren was going to be in the movie, did you just like die of excitement? I mean, you got Miss Scarlet and Cinderella and everything. Well, Brian was her biggest fan. Brian was really nervous to meet her. Absolutely, yeah. Brian, Brian was Sills. Such a classic. Brian Sills. Yes. Yeah. Brian, Brian Sills texted me a photo because when the, he and Leslie, I think, got there the same day or. One was a day apart, but either way, they went shopping at the grocery store together. And for him, he they, took a yeah, they wound up spending like a whole day together that first yeah, day. Yeah, and he was freaking out, like just he he loves her, uh, idolizes her in a way, uh, in, in a very sweet, non stalkery way. And, uh, <laughs> um, and, and so, okay, coming from the guy who made a movie about trying to get a date with Drew Barrymore, yes, I have to be careful about the stalker thing. So uh, uh, he. But but it was just great. Having Leslie on board was awesome. And it was just, you know, it just added a, a, a pedigree to, to, to what we were doing here because she's just yeah. so, she so many movies. Twinkle, so many. Yeah, she was born <laughs> Yeah, she was. She the twinkliest, for sure. Yeah. The twinkliest, Amazing. yes. Yeah. The twinkliest. Uh, <laughs> I mean, so it was great. And, and, yeah. and it, was just, it was just, you know, the experience, uh, just speaking as a director, for me, you know, obviously you're always running against time, you know, time and money are your, your two biggest enemies when you're, when you're making a movie, but we had so much fun doing it a across the board. We had so much fun doing it. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and I think it shows, I think it shows in the movie. I think there's, there's, um, you know, a, 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 before you guys got on, I was talking to Rachel about, you know, how our favorite Christmas movies were, you know, Christmas Vacation, A Christmas Story, It's a Wonderful Life, Home Alone, Die Hard, mm -hmm. you know, like yeah. these are our favorite Christmas <laughs> movies. And, and I think for us, it was... Did you just say Die Hard? Yeah. It, die, die Hard is one of the best Christmas... Ryan, am I right? Come on. It's a great... What I are just you told my talking about? Morning. You guys are so weird. What is happening? Yeah. <laughs> die Hard is a Christmas what? movie. It's a Christmas movie. You know, I have to go with the guys on this one, Sarah. It definitely counts. <laughs> oh, my. you know what? I don't think I've actually ever seen it. Oh. What? Oh, silence. Silence. It's, it's, silence. It's, it is pretty Hold good. Hold on a second. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Sarah, listen to me. You're about to get on a how many hour flight to Vienna. You're going to watch Die Hard on that plane. <laughs> you are going to absolutely watch oh. Die Hard. Again, oh in the Christmas God. spirit. Okay? Ho, ho, ho. I mean, there's a whole oh. I, oh, there's, yeah. a sequel, there's a sequel shaping up here. Twinkle Dies Hard. Okay? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Twinkle Dies Hard, Die Harder. Um, yeah. <laughs> Wait, but, uh, you guys even got me to like a wedding in one of these movies because usually I hate the wedding movies. Uh, I know that sounds weird. How but, could that be, Rachel? Yeah. How can you hate weddings? <laughs> because I hate bridezillas. I can't tolerate it. I can't deal uh, with it. Yeah. I can't. It, and oddly enough, you think that they would be just like the pinnacle of Hallmark, but in my experience, it, it 
I, I just, it brings out these really selfish, terrible characters that are insufferable and I can't stand. And I just, I can't. Uh, and but this one, you know what? Never... You make a really good point, though. You make it because you <laughs> said that all the characters should be joyful and and wanting to be there, and not like it's a it's you know this yeah. thing that is destined to go wrong, and then somebody saves the day. Yeah, I think that was. I don't know, Brian. Did did you and Megan inherently want to <sighs> make that a point to have it so joyful, or did? You know, that, I mean, that's that like, that's who the, I feel like that's who the Avery character is though. Like her mom is the one that's all, uh, you know, she wants it to be perfect and they're almost sort of reflective of, of Henry and Cadence. I think that yeah. mom is more oh, yeah. like Cadence and Avery is more like Henry. And so she's like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where it is. It doesn't matter if all the flowers and the napkins and the lights are perfect. It doesn't matter. Yeah, the room I, will I, be filled with love. Be a room, yeah. The room will be filled with love and that's all it I was, care about. And there's something yeah. that's, that's a sweet reflection. It's like, you know, Cadence is very close friend. There's a reason they're very close, which then, you know, gets mirrored in her falling in love with a guy that has those similar qualities, you know? And, and mm-hmm. that, when they po- they reveal the, uh, the view, that was so good. I loved it. <laughs> Hashtag Christmas bumps. Yes. <laughs> Christmas bumps. By the oh, way, oh my gosh. classic, classic so Christmas bumps. Like, I don't know. You know what's funny? I, I gotta I, tell you, just just on a personal note, I get a I got a, 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 a messenger thing on Facebook from the daughter of my high school junior year English teacher, mm-hmm. Mrs. Loudon, was watching Twinkle All the Way, and her daughter uh, messaged me as she was watching, and she's like, "Oh my God, my mom is crying, and lips are fully quivering. She's she's just overwhelmed." And I wrote back, "What part? What part is making her cry?" And she goes. The view, excuse the, the view. view, and so, so I know the, oh, the view. It gives you full blown chills. You're just like yeah. that guy. We love him. <laughs> but but you know what else? I'd love to take and, credit, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't but you know what department on <laughs> it was. No, no, no. They weren't. They weren't working so hard to paint your thing. Uh, no. Here's the thing: is it, underneath it, while why, why I think that moment works so well, or or think about a piggyback moment of of this kind of emotional heft is that uh, you guys haven't kissed yet in the movie. <clears throat> you haven't right. kissed yet in the movie and, and Sarah is in the process or Cadence is in the process of getting this one, two punch of how amazing Henry is just validating yeah. this. Like she's right. Go with your gut. And, and when she sees that view and Avery thanks Cadence for it and, and, and she's like, it wasn't me. And, and then Henry comes out with that 14 year cake. I got to tell you guys, this is one of my favorite third acts of any movie. It, it might be my favorite third act of a movie I've directed because it's I just so think good. that you guys just do it so well. And the audience is like, Oh my God, they're in love. This is it. They're going to, this is going to happen. And then I love that. Kiss. I love that. Kiss. And by the way, th- now you got me all excited about the wedding. So, so, so the kiss, right. It was never scripted yeah. that, that, that uh, the whole audience, the whole, everybody attending the wedding turns around and claps for Cadence and Henry finally. No, Henry. I remember we got there on the day and we were trying to figure out even where to stand. And, and there was talk of it being just by where I was sitting. And I was like, well, let me go meet him in the front. Like I, I and, yeah. and then, yeah. and well, then we felt yeah, it out, kind of, if you will. We felt it out, man. <laughs> we felt it out. <laughs> and we then he picked out. me up and swung me around like that whole thing. None of that. Oh, yeah, all that God. stuff was just in the moment. It was so yeah. fun. There were so many so moments great. of that I felt like was so organic between director and actors where, you know, we were able to say, okay, this is scripted here, but, you know, fortunately Brian was like, let's play, let's play like we're doing a play, you know, like let's Mm -hmm. walk around and feel the space out. And, and we would get to those moments where you're like, Oh, the painting scene. I felt like, yeah, we're we're like, Would it, would it be better here? Would we go over it? And then it just all kind of fell into place where it was meant to be. And that well, that was, from... a, that was a luxury, though. That, that was a luxury for us because scheduling a movie like this, I, I remember our, my first AD, Ted Campbell, and I, I just said to him, I'm like, look, I just want the time. This is seven-something pages where they meet on the stage. Remember that first scene on the stage? You yep. know, when, they, when they're yep. talking about where you get to see the differences between the two of them. We had a more than half a day to just do that. 
Mm-hmm. And and that was a luxury, and we got to meet know, them in the right way. Yeah. It was so fun, so great. So we're we're you know rushing through other moments without sacrificing anything, but then getting to spend the time on on those very key on moments the so. that are really really important. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and that comes with the experience that you have, Brian. That you're like, okay, we need that time for these moments. I know where these moments have to happen. And well, where, thanks, you know, Brian. Where, where yeah, I'm making pancakes, you know, I'm going to go so from well. here to there. Yeah. You know. <laughs> you guys were both. You guys were both kind of obsessive compulsive about and wanting to manage things, but like in ways that made sense. There wasn't, it wasn't like, I don't know. It wasn't like there was one character who was super overbearing and another character who was, you know, it was like you guys both had your skill sets that made sense for your ideas. I, so I felt like it felt like an authentic kind of conflict, if that makes sense. And uh, I don't know. I just really, I thought it was really funny and, uh, and did you guys just uh, have the most fun ever doing the whole fort scene? <laughs> oh, that looked so fun. <laughs> I know, that was so cute. That was well, really the, the kids so drink all the hot chocolate right away, so they're pretty hyped up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, they did. We were, like, we were like, guys, can you give them water? Just water. Give them water. <laughs> they <don't have> water. <laughs> yeah. They're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it was a body draw for those kids. <laughs> it was fun, and was and the, the 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 kid element too. You know, we, before you guys got on, we were just talking about, you know, the 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 family. That family is a theme underneath all of what's happening in Twink All the Way. So, um, you know, my daughter Cleary played uh, Ryan's daughter Ruthie, She's and so um, Isla Isla most Grimes adorable played, uh, kid ever. Uh, no, thank you. Well, but both of those kids, it, it was it was fun uh, to be able to kind of see Henry and Cadence through the lens of the innocence of kids, right? And that fort mm-hmm. scene, um, you know, I, 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 I said to the DP, Jeff, I said, I wanted to feel, there were two, two uh, scenes that I, I referenced Hook, <clears throat> which I love Hook. I love the movie mm-hmm. Hook. Another great oh, Christmas Hook. movie, by the way. Yeah. Oh. Great. Fantastic. Good call. So, so uh, the the uh, <laughs> the kid uh, Jack's bedroom, uh, uh, you know, the lighting in that. Uh, I said I want the lighting from from the bedroom scenes and Hook to as best we can get that fort feel and that magic glow. And then uh, and and another moment that that when Megan and I were writing it was in the wedding with the bells, with your bells when everybody stands up. I I one of my favorite scenes oh, ever is in so Hook good. when. When when uh, Robin Williams is given that speech to honor Wendy, and he asks people, you know, I'm sure she's touched other people's hearts, you know, orphans, and then one by one, everybody stands up in that room. And oh, that's great. That, yeah, and that was that's one of my favorite moments. But it was just like, how do we earn a moment like that? And that's where the whole Bell subplot thing came from. Was was as long as it catered to Henry being. Uh, innovative, creative, and 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 using it in the right way, uh, and surprising Cadence, and Cadence realizing, oh my God, this is th- he's he's mine, you know. Uh, it just all worked out organically. So the fort scene is one of those ones that was in, was always designed uh, to be a magical moment where we see them for the first time as a family unit. Mm-hmm. We 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 see that you know them with their kids together. In that, and I love that it's that it's framed by this magical fort. So um, yeah, it was awesome. It's well, one of my favorite moments too. Mm, yeah. Well, and, I think- it, and by the way, when they put that together, you know, on the page it sounded great, but then when you walked in the room, you were like, "Oh man, man!" You know, it really lives up um, to the the imagination, what you had in your mind of going, "Oh, could they really pull this off?" Because like we said, with time and budget. And I thought that the crew did a great job on that. Mm-hmm. Well, that bedroom yeah, was a set. Did, that was on a stage. So, the art department did an incredible job on the whole movie. Yeah. They really, oh, I yeah. mean, the, the wedding was so gorgeous. Mm-hmm. And uh, yes, all it was the, just unbelievable. The was so beautiful. I mean, it was amazing. It was so great. Well, well, the fun thing about it, and it was, was, a hard, it was, was a hard the, show too for art department because they had so much to do. And, and they it. really, it was, they was, really yep. And and those were those were the conversations from day zero, where I literally said, "I know we're asking a lot. I know this is going to be big, uh, but I also know that you could do it." 
<clears throat> and and it was, it was I, I give the credit to them because they were like, yeah, we can, and we're going to figure it out. And and they mm-hmm. did, and they offered suggestions that made it even better. So it was great. My my wife yeah. even got involved, <clears throat> Ryan for for uh, for the sleigh, for you know the sleigh, oh, the, yeah. the sleigh they pick, which is another. I mean, talk about being able to just put a camera, hit hit roll, hit record, and watch two actors just knock it out of the park. The two of them in the sleigh, um, getting the backstory at the same time, really defining their differences and how they approach things. Uh, we needed to make the sleigh that they picked, you know, the one that's fun, right? Mm-hmm. And right. so my wife and Jess, the production designer, worked together to make that sleigh fun by putting the little stuffed animal in the front of it and just mm-hmm. really, like, going down to the details of these things uh, really came together on the production design side. And, and it was fun. My, it was fun watching my wife, Megan, just dive in and be like, Oh, we can make this cuter. We can make this more magical right here. Let's get some garland, you know, and just started like literally <laughs> oh, becoming part of the art department. It was, it was fun. Well, I think we Love need it. a twinkle, twinkle all the way, a sequel. And <laughs> with, Twinkle ever after. Twinkle ever after. Twinkle ever after. <laughs> yes, where you can have Cadence and Henry working on a combined project for Mrs. Sutton, where they are <laughs> doing that, and it would be the best. <laughs> I think we need it. Well, I think C- Cadence well, and Henry yeah. have to get married, so you know, yeah. don't, don't don't count them out. Yeah, yes. we need we need a Cadence and Henry wedding. Uh, yes, and, a, and with no bridezilla, yes. right? <laughs> that's yes. right. I mean, Sarah. <laughs> yes, exactly. I won't be a bridezilla. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't get stressed out about details. I don't know what you mean. That's what I have my list for. <laughs> this, you guys, you guys get me. We understand each other. <laughs> This is very exactly. exciting. Oh, by the way, you, you know what I wanted to I wanted to bring up because Rachel, you and I in our in our messages back and forth before doing this, a lot of this came out of that article that the about the other kiss in the movie, right? We're right. talking about oh, yeah. <clears throat> we're we're talking about Henry and Cadence having this most amazing, magical, and just spontaneous, you know, kind of crowd pleasing kiss. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then uh, in the last scene of the movie, we, we have uh, uh, they share another kiss in, in the living room Christmas morning with Twinkle watching her whole family together. And then uh, Lex and Danny have a kiss as well. Yeah. And <clears throat> such a small, organic, just natural moment, uh, mm-hmm. you know, with the, the family members kissing and and. Uh, who knew? I don't even think that kiss. I don't even think they, was that kiss scripted. Did we just no, decide on the day? It was, it, one of no, it was, yeah, it was just feeling it out. Mm-hmm. It was yeah. feeling it out the same way we felt out your sense. kiss. And it just, it made sense. It's like we're all happy together. And then mom is looking on at both of her boys so happy that happy. they yeah. found love. Of course. That's, but that's what it's I think so, people it makes are. Sense. Yeah, I agree. But that's what people are, are, are reacting to is that it was just, it, it was not made a big deal about in the movie. It was just normal. Mm-hmm. That and which I didn't realize you know, until later. Yeah, there wasn't anything spoon fed in the expression of Leslie of just true happiness that it's you wish for any parent. Yeah, any parent um, that you just want your kids to be happy, and that's it. Mm-hmm. And it was such. Yeah. She did a really great job. That was such that a lovely moment. moment at the end. Yeah, because it could have been this moment where she's like, I'm a magical creature who made things extra magical this Christmas. <laughs> you know, it could be, it yeah. could have been that, but instead it wasn't. Instead it was just like, oh, thank God. Well, look, she was, look she at, was look grateful. At who I get to have, she was so grateful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which, so which and and you actually but... see that play out in her all the way from the beginning yeah. when she first meets Cadence and she's like, Oh, that, uh, Oh, yeah. you're working on the play. To- oh, Oh, and you're going to oh. do this. Oh, really? Oh. That was like, a great she- moment too. And it's so, so and it played so well because yeah. Brian kept trying to take her away, you know, and he kept going, okay, uh, I, I think we're supposed to be out of the scene right now. I think we're supposed to walk away now and let's see what it like goes. She's like, no, she I'm just going to enjoy this moment. She just wanted to take it all in. It was yeah. so great. It was so great because that's exactly what a mom would do in that moment. When she's like, my yeah. son went through the worst of the worst and the greatest loss ever. And this is a potential like, and oh, and he seems interested and she mm-hmm. seems lovely. And oh, I wonder what's going to happen. You know? I want to stay here and witness this. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, honestly, that, that, last, that last scene was designed to be the, the kind of 
bow on 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 the gift that is the movie, right? It's just wrapping it up with a sweet little bow. Yeah. <clears throat> and it was it was just very important. Again, family. It was yeah. it was the theme of family. Yeah. So we're seeing the family members with their with their loved ones, uh, you know, just having a great Christmas morning. That's all it is. It's just the norm. Mm -hmm. um, but then this whole thing is blown up, like because we treated it just like that because it is normal. And and apparently yeah. that being expressed and seen in a movie like this is not uh, uh, common, been done I guess. I don't think it has been. I got to tell you, it resonates, it resonates with everyone. And it's uh, oh, yeah. people that I didn't necessarily expect in my life that came out of the woodwork to say, I love that movie. I love those, Same those moments. And I was like, thank God. I'm glad that's where we're at now. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It 100%. was just it was just natural and authentic, and I I I loved I loved the movie. Obviously, I thought it was wonderful, and it was just really captures the the spirit of not to use the cliche, but the spirit of Christmas about everybody just yeah. wanting everybody to be happy and healthy, and you know whether it was the wedding or the fort or the just just joyful and. I don't know. It was so good. I love it. And in unexpected ways, right? Yeah. Where it's not like it's not like the perfect gift or the yeah. perfect wedding. It's truly just connecting with each other. Yeah, and there wasn't any yeah. like false kind of I don't think any kind of false breakup of like I mean her, she did have her moment of hesitation but it felt authentic to me as opposed to I don't know, just I feel like there's a lot of times where I'm like, "Ugh, why don't you just have a five minute conversation and deal with this, uh, <laughs> this miscommunication or whatever. Yeah. It was the You're not gonna get I think, that. I think that, <laughs> that Sarah did an amazing job. I don't know if I haven't mentioned this to you, Sarah, but I felt like that mm -hmm. those, those moments that you felt like, uh, you know, when you're probably writing that on the page, you go, Oh, we need something bigger. We need a bigger breakup or a bigger thing to, mm -hmm. to take them apart. But what Sarah did so well, that you didn't need anything bigger. You just needed to see her backstory her fear. in her subtext of everything she did and, and the fear of going down that road and risking her heart again and not wanting to put her or her, her daughter through that. You know, you just bought it in her performance and you didn't need that big thing on the page or that big event to, to right. divide them and then bring them back together. It was just performance. By well, and also, <laughs> no, but, but uh, the, the, the fun part about just, just just to put it in perspective, oh, dang, buddy, yeah, yeah. to put it, so in, put, put it in perspective, that that scene was day one. That's the first thing we shot oh was the stuff at the I elevator. Know, right? Yeah. Yeah, I remember the running the those lines with you, Ryan. That was like that was like the first thing we shot. Like riding in the in the in the van to the location. Like, you want to run these? Let's run these. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and like, that's like our first day having to feel out who we are to one another. And it's our fight, you know, not really. It was also but, the, but first, you know. the first moment. More importantly, the fans. Yeah. Remember that, Ryan? When I tried, with, to, give, oh, when I tried to give Jello to, uh, to oh, Leslie. Brian. Yeah. Oh, Leslie. Yeah. <laughs> and then Brian, so Leslie is like, she's like, I'm not going to take that Jello. I don't want that. I'm like, but you need the Jello. Like, it'll make it better. And Brian, Still just goes, I'll take it, <laughs> and just scratch and starts eating it in the scene. I go, I like this it's guy. So I like him. I like uh, him. <laughs> oh, but the fans, the, the hospital yeah. fans that you were saying. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was, was going to say, yeah. So we were shooting it in, like, in a, uh, a school, like a nursing school or something. Uh -huh. And uh, so, so then there's Sarah Drew from Grey's Anatomy, and <laughs> she gets literally day one uh, gets mobbed. Like gets mobbed by all these people just wanting photos, autographs, all this stuff. So, I, so I literally took Ryan <laughs> over to where that was happening, and I filmed it on my phone. I'm like, "How you feeling, buddy? You, you, you feel good about this? You, you, you all right?" They, they, they were right. handing me the Ryan's phone. Ryan's like, hey, "Have you guys pictures. seen Chuck? You guys, have you guys yes, seen Chuck?" They wanted to. <laughs> no, Cap Cap Captain Ryan, Awesome over that. here, guys. Yeah. Captain Office. Cap Captain yeah. Awesome over here. Yeah, they, they go, "Oh, really? Great. Will you hold this camera and take a picture of me?" <laughs> That was the best. That was the best. Really, there was maybe one picture that somebody wanted. They, they were just like, hey, man, I, I like that show you were on. I'm like, you don't even know the name of it, do you? Go ahead, take the picture. Let's go. <laughs> we didn't see Ryan for the rest of the day. We used a double because he was just emotionally a wreck. Well, yeah. I'd be excited to talk to Ryan just because 
Uh, you well not you you were in a Hallmark movie with Aaron Krakow. That's exciting. Uh, that's and, right. And, oh, <laughs> and, she, she's amazing. We we still talk about trying to to do another uh, uh-huh. sequel to that chance at romance, but yeah. um, you know she's too busy with Wind Calls the Heart. Yeah. Being, you know, a well, star on all the other stuff she's doing. And but Hallmark, she's evi- the these movies evidently think you are quite the artist. Cause, cause you were, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I can paint, I can take photos. Yeah. I'm a doctor, I'm a lawyer. <laughs> yeah. You can do it all. Do anything. Throw you anything all, at you. You also got to work with Fran Drescher, which I'm highly jealous of because I am a huge Fran Drescher fan. So that's pretty cool. I was just thinking how we could bring this group together and bring Fran into the oh. Um, oh and my gosh. I, you know, I'm going to reach out to Franny and see, you know, we'll oh. Brian and I and Megan and Sarah, we'll, we'll just powwow and figure out how we can get her into the mix as well. That would be amazing. Wouldn't that I be just great? love that you that yeah. called her Franny. I, I, that just made my day. Franny. Yeah. I would die. <laughs> Franny. I would be so excited. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what? You should have her be like uh, Twinkle's uh, sister. Because I think... Fran Drescher, Leslie Ann Warren would be hilarious together. <laughs> oh, that would be amazing. Or niece oh or something. It, Whatever. I don't know. How they are. <laughs> Some relation. We'll definitely figure it out because yes. I've also, oh. you know, I did Flight Before Christmas with Maureen Bialik too. And when that yeah. was the first, I want to say it was the first Chris Mika movie that Lifetime had done. I'm not uh-huh. positive about that, but. Yeah. Um, Is that Lifetime or Hallmark? That was Lifetime. Yeah, it was Lifetime. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And that, well, oh. oh, guys, they had to make Heartland Movie Marathon the day after <laughs> oh, Sunday yes, after. Oh, yes, I forgot they about the had Heartland Movie Marathon. Christmas and Twinkle all Sarah, the way never back tell, to back. never tell... Never tell Ryan you forgot something about McPartland, okay? Never, ever. Oh, he'll, never, he'll never get past McPartland it. McPartland double feature. I'll never, yeah. I'll never lay that down. Yeah. Okay, guys, we all have our double feature. But features. honestly, <laughs> I've, I've, these, movies, these movies have made me so happy. Like, when uh, I first did, the, I want to say the first one I, I did, I was like, you know, I don't know what's going to come of this. You know, we're always chasing pilots and pilot season and series out here and these movies have not only resonated with the audience and become such a big deal they've become better and better and there's an insatiable appetite for them and, and some they're of, fun there's so and some much of fun yeah some of my do. best friendships have come from the joy of working on these and you know this is no exception this is maybe the most fun that i could ever have on a movie mm-hmm. And it wasn't the most glamorous hotels we were staying at or, you know, <laughs> the biggest budgets. <laughs> but, but we just had a blast oh, and stories. we all bought in. Uh, so yeah, totally. I, I, will, I will say this. Normally I, I'm, I'm kind of quiet on the shout-outs to the companies that make the movies, but Lifetime was amazing. They, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not making it up in any way, shape, or form. I'm not blowing smoke. Mm-hmm. Creatively, yeah. The, you know, we, the, our point exec was Michael Healy. Michael was phenomenal. The whole reason why the wedding takes place in the school is because of Michael. Mm-hmm. That was his big note, was to force them to figure oh, it out that. together creatively oh. in a situation that's not. Yeah, because we had there's, there's a whole listen. There's a whole sequence we shot with Santa Claus in the gymnasium that you never saw, Rachel, and will eventually be available on, on Blu-ray. <laughs> and the director's cut. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, the director's yeah, cut. They did that last uh, year. They had the director's cuts of these Lifetime movies, which was really just. Uh, it really wasn't a director's cut, but the whole it was more just like there was some kind of commentary or whatever. But I love that whole concept of like director's cuts. <laughs> Like, uh, like well, it was is, just it's very exciting <laughs> we just we, we we got really lucky in that everybody on the creative side even you know our margaret huddleston and stephanie slack were our exec producers and, and i've worked with margaret so much she's my go-to producer i've done like eight movies with her now uh-huh. and uh they they were just there to make the movie work yeah. they were there to just make sure you had everything you need to create the the magic of it and and that went all the way up to the top to the point yeah. where the cut that that I delivered is is the movie. Yeah. I mean, it was great. Yeah. It was just such a great experience, and and they all got it. Mm-hmm. They they love Sarah and Ryan. Okay. <laughs> I mean, they lo- <laughs> love them I, I, just because the. I mean, we we've been talking about it. the the chemistry's there on screen. The the joy is there on screen. 
the, the well, we didn't the stop goal. having fun. Obviously, did yeah. you see the did you see the dance parties, Rachel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you see uh, my my videos that I released? My very high class videos. Yeah. Um, high production quality, edited, uh, laugh track, and dance <laughs> break. <laughs> Yes, Sarah, you're because an excellent director. Because they should be on the director. DVD extras. Um, yeah. And by the way, the giggle, the giggle attack that happened, oh, that literally God. was five minutes long. We have a oh, five-minute yeah. footage of it that yeah. we cut down to one minute because we stopped the during, during, during watch. During, during, the, during, the scene, during the scene, of course, that caused the most conversation. Was the that, that was happening? Was our it. massive giggle fest? Yes. Yeah, the massive giggle fest was happening right at the midst of <laughs> Danny and Lex having their kids. But it was just everybody well, just. We had to get the kids great... out, remember? And and then yeah. I air kissed like where my daughter would be. I go, mwah. <laughs> it was that's what started the whole thing. He air kissed a fake person. It just was like <laughs> the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen in your life. Yeah. While uh, while you're supposed to be talking about the magic of Christmas, he's like, "Oh, mwah, what's that?" I, and I was like, I can't do that. "Why are you doing that? Don't do that! Don't do that!" Every time I would do it, and I turn with a look at her, we're supposed to have this sincere moment. She's like, I could see her about to die laughing, and then I start to die laughing, and I was like, "Okay." But then you also and couldn't look at Brian Schultz. Like, the two no, of I couldn't look at together. Brian. I can never look at Brian. Look at anybody. He makes me laugh. He like, he has <laughs> well, that. that's a whole other... <laughs> yeah, a Ryan, and Brian, Ryan and Brian... Ryan and Brian as brothers, aside from physically looking nothing alike, complete right. polar opposites <laughs> with heights and everything, uh, the, the two of them together are this, like, Martin and Lewis... Uh, kind of expedition that should be touring the country, you know, next year. Uh, yeah, so it, it's good. ridiculous. Oh, it's so um, good. It was it was so fun and and just sweet. So I loved it. Loved everything about it. Yeah. Uh, me too. Um, my Rachel, friends, I'm so before? sorry. Oh, yeah. I yes, I have to actually. I have to go pack because I'm getting picked up and have not packed at all. Um, <laughs> okay. Thank you so <laughs> much, don't Sarah. Your this was, Sarah, this was such a, a <laughs> delight. That? Ryan oh, said, "Don't forget your so green jacket." To to you. yeah. Rachel, I feel like I feel like we didn't even let you say anything or <laughs> ask was, any questions because all we did was talk over each other the whole time. You know, it was a delight. <laughs> Thank you so much. I hope we can have you on just as a full interview. I'd love it uh, when your Winterfest movie comes out. Yes, it would be amazing. So, have it, say hi all to right. everyone good. there. In I Vienna. will. And have a safe flight, Sarah. Be, be careful. Have have an amazing shoot. We'll talk. Travel safe. All right, Sarah, uh, fly safe. All right. Bye. bye guys. And hey, right, have bye. your Starbucks okay. order ready ahead of time, okay? When you land. <laughs> your Starbucks order, have it ready ahead of time. You know when what? You land. I don't need to hear anything else out of your mouth. You abandoned <laughs> me at the airport, so. I, you know what? You have nothing to say to me right now. All right. Well, we love <laughs> you. Bye. 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 Uh, so Rachel, you good? You, you got what you need? You, I know oh. you don't really care about me or Ryan because Sarah left, so you're done, right? Yeah, now, now the it. air has been sucked out of this conversation. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, the heart and soul of our of our conference call here that happens to be recorded has just left. Yeah, no, it was. I'm so gonna good. jump off too. I actually have to go to the chiropractor now. Oh, so. well, thank you so oh, much, proud. Ryan. I really appreciate it. It was. I would love to talk to you as well, uh, solo, if you ever have a. A minute. This was really fun. Just hit me up. I'm I'm more than happy to talk. I got <laughs> I got a lot of these movies under my belt, but I I got to tell you, this Twinkle All the Way is probably the best experience I could have possibly had, That's and great. and it really started with Brian and Megan and the spirit yeah. and uh, you know they brought the set and it was like what it should be. It was like yeah. this creative thing of communication and saying let's play and we're all in this together and yeah. let's make something more than what people expect and i felt yeah. like we we pulled it off and i really appreciate how much love you brought to uh you know the podcast and how how much you gushed over us <laughs> that, that's you. you pay attention to that stuff i don't and always hear that stuff i keep it i keep other. it real i don't always gush I don't. So yeah, well, it's sincere. We wouldn't be texting each other if you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, Ryan, right. um, thanks so much. You'll have fun getting your your back worked on. 
Uh, and uh, we'll, I'll talk to you. In <laughs> I got. A bit. Hey, I got to get I, ready, <laughs> ready for. She's going to Vienna. Where are we headed to, buddy? Are we going to Bakersfield? <laughs> Where, uh, I'll, I'll meet you. I'll meet you in Santa Clarita. We'll have a great yeah, Santa time. Don't worry about it. Come Don't to yeah. my hometown. We'll, Come we'll to Utah. Up here in the backyard. <laughs> Make your next movie in Utah. <laughs> I can Utah. Be That's it. Yeah. yeah. All right, done. Oh. All right, man. All right. Uh, bye. Okay, take care. Bye, bye. Right. Well, uh, well, there you go, Rachel. Yeah, that Here's was the two amazing. leads of Twinkle All the Way <laughs> joining your podcast. <laughs> That was incredible. Thank you so much for that. We'd like to take a second from this episode of the podcast and thank our sponsor for this episode. It's the good people over at Care Of, and we've been really grateful to have Care Of as a sponsor for the last couple of months. And right now you can get 50% off your first Care Of order. Go to TakeCareOf.com, enter Hallmarkies50. That's different than a previous code that we had, but it's Hallmarkies50. 50. Carob does is they try to help you with the vitamins that you need in a very personal way. So uh, right now we're all kind of out of our, our exercise routines and our, our things with this craziness of the, of the holidays. Uh, but we're going to be starting those New Year's resolution, resolutions and what a perfect way to start now and uh, to get that healthy routine of taking your vitamins every day. And they really try to make it a very personal experience. You go on, you take a quiz. It helps you kind of narrow down what will be the most helpful in your life and what uh, issues are the biggest concern for you, whether it's sleeping, uh, that was what this, the quiz sort of revealed for me and what I could do to help it. It's, they, they really try to make it as personal as possible. Like you get these little uh little packets of vitamins and it has your name on it it has an inspirational quote and uh, i really appreciate that attention to detail and it's something you can just take the little package you can put them in your purse you can take them with you easily traveling so you don't have a big bottle so that's just really nice they also vegan and vegetarian supplement options and they have protein powders and all kinds of good stuff so definitely check out care of and right now get 50 percent off your first a care of order go to takecareof.com enter hallmarkies 50 well, yeah you want to talk about christmas quick, movie christmas yes we need to talk about this a little bit because it was a, definitely a fan favorite uh it oh, good. so the did the adulteries how did you end up getting involved they wrote the script and then yeah uh, uh kim and brand are uh and lana mckissick and and ryan merriman and randy wayne and uh-huh. um my daughter cleary uh yeah this has been uh, for me this has been one of my favorite years in terms of uh, professionally because I got to Megan and I wrote our first movie together with Twinkle All the Way and I got to make that movie uh, as the uh-huh. di- director and and then with Christmas Movie Christmas I was the script was written by Kim and Brandt and Margaret Huddleston who produced Twinkle All the Way sent it to me she 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 got me involved with that one and uh, and Larry Grimaldi the, this is the Mar Vista Entertainment guys. Uh-huh. So anyway, so I read the script. I thought the script was great. Uh, and then I threw my two cents into what uh, I thought could help out the script. And then Kim and Brandt just elevated it with a, another pass. And I loved it. I, I yeah. loved the script. And um, we shot the movie in Frankenmuth, Michigan. Uh, and then, so basically, this, is, this was my year. I shot Christmas movie Christmas in Frankenmuth, Michigan in, in March. And then came back to L.A. and directed... Another Christmas movie that is not released yet, but it's an independent R-rated Christmas comedy about uh-huh. uh, a daughter who gets her family high to survive Christmas Eve with her family, right? Right. Uh, because it's, so, okay, so that's called High Holiday, and that I don't know when that's coming out, but that is a very big departure from the, the Hallmark and Lifetime and Up TV type Christmas movies. But it was fun. It was a fun, uh-huh. fun movie. So then I shoot High Holiday, and then we make twinkle all the way uh, about a month later. It, it was just a crazy, yeah. you know, few months to do these movies back to back. Yeah. But Christmas movie Christmas, you know, I, I was just talking about how amazing experience I had with the cast on twinkle all the way. I had an amazing experience with the cast on Christmas movie Christmas. Uh, they were just, they came to play uh, the, the, condi- it was freezing. It was freezing in Frankenmuth, Michigan. Frankenmuth is one of the most well-known Christmas towns in America. Uh-huh. And um, I think it actually has the biggest Christmas store in the world, Bronner's uh, Christmas. Uh, and it was uh-huh. the perfect fit for the quote unquote Christmas movie that these two sisters go into yeah. magically yeah. get transported into. And it was just so fun. It, it yeah. was just a blast to, 
to have fun with the tropes of the Christmas movies. Uh-huh. Uh, to, 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 it's very easy to, to kind of make fun of stuff like that, but it's not so easy to do a smart kind of commentary on those tropes. And that's what Kim and Brandt did with the script. Um, and I just, uh, you know, Lana McKissick, I never worked with any of them before. And uh, the, again, seamless uh, in terms of uh, them coming together creatively. Uh, they all worked so well together, came up with wonderful things, you know, within the scenes that wasn't in the script and uh, just a joy, just a real joy to do. Uh, it, it was a joy to watch. Uh, did did you watch a bunch of uh, Hallmark movies in order to uh, to do the fake movie? That was one of my favorite parts is the fake movie. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, what's funny is that uh, I, I, I didn't have to sit down and watch them all you know, before shooting the movie, because I've seen them all over the years. Uh And, and, and the fun part about it is the tone of the movie was what was tricky from day one, even with the script, Mm -hmm. just because you want to do it right. You don't want it to look like you're making fun of anything. And, you know, uh, but I think that the movie within the movie, the uh, uh, Holiday Falls, Return to Holiday Falls, all that. I I just, I loved it. And I love Randy Wayne, who played Chad Matthew Monroe. Uh, he, he just, you know, I, 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 it was so funny. We were all talking about like creatively uh, with the producers and the writers. I'm like, like, how do we, you know, how far do we let him go? And I'm like, how far do we let him go? He goes, he dives into this. He better dive into this. He better just come off as absolutely just, you know, knowing all knowing in terms of how cool he is and how, how lucky anybody is to be around him. But the trick is still having him be likable. And uh, so that was a blast to do with him. And, and I think a lot of the, the fun part about the Christmas movie Christmas is while it has the heart, while it has the magic, it also has the humor. Yeah. The humor yeah. is really prevalent in that film. <laughs> and um, yeah. and I, I, it makes me laugh. I, 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 I love it. And honestly, you know, it, the actors pull it off because yeah. any misstep, right. uh, you know, I, I had directed, I had worked with Ryan Merriman before and I love the guy he's such a great actor and I knew what I was going to get with Dustin I, I knew I, I knew exactly what what he was going to bring to that role which is why I cast him and uh-huh. I didn't know exactly what I was going to get from the other actors because I hadn't worked with them before right. Kim and Brandt you know they knew this story inside and out because they wrote it and um uh, I, I think Brandt as Paul his, his interpretation of Paul is hysterical and, you know, the, the big puppy dog guys, he literally talks to Santa Claus. You know, this is somebody yeah. that could either be, you know, wind up blowing up, uh, uh, you know, a building or <laughs> he's, he's a sweetheart. And, and because of Brant, he's a sweetheart. So well, I um, die. I love I laughed so hard at the uh, at the whole letters uh, bit. And especially when she's okay. like, not a hint. I'm explicitly telling you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that scene, the scene in the bakery when, uh, when, when she says it's not a hint, I'm thinking, okay, no more cards. Uh, you know, <laughs> that scene for me is one of my favorite scenes because aside from my daughter being in there and kind of being mm-hmm. uh, Paul's kind of uh, messenger girl to, to like, they had this pre arranged kind of speech she was going to give to Lacey to accept the card and everything. Here's yeah. another lovely card from Paul. Uh, but then when she pulls out the card and it's of her sleeping, in the bed yeah. that is one of my favorite moments in the movie it just makes me laugh so much that he thinks that, that, that that's sweet and and it's just the most creepy thing ever well was that also kind of a sort of a dig at hallmark you know with all the cards no no digs at all there, there, oh, there really weren't any digs what's, <laughs> really? Not I, because it was because you, i wish you could have been involved with how, all the meetings and discussions about how we don't want it to be a dig uh-huh. because it was like it, it's reverential but it's also right. we're all aware of the fun of it, it, it it's yeah. fun well no, uh, i thought no it was a, a yeah. good natured jab is I, I kind of saw it i was like oh, he's here with all these cards I, you know, I wish i wish i could say that that was a conscious thing it really wasn't it was <laughs> it was really about i mean look at how the movie resolves yeah i mean basically we you know that the trick to that movie working is the moment where she gets caught in the, in, in the breakup, right. Of, yeah. of uh, her and Chad and her and Dustin and getting caught in the middle. And we did a screen, we did a premiere screening for the movie. And if, if we weren't on target through the whole movie, 
that uh-huh. moment would have people would have laughed yeah. <laughs> because they would have felt like we were making fun of Hallmark Christmas uh-huh. movies. But it was you could hear a pin drop. Everybody was in it. Everybody was into that moment. So we were with Eve as opposed to uh, watching her within the movie of a uh, within the confines of a Hallmark movie, right? Yeah. Um, and 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 that's the trick is is as long if we're getting emotionally invested in them. To the point yeah. when they leave the town and Graham Graham gives that little wave goodbye. That that gets me every time. It just yeah. gets me every time. It's so sweet. Yeah. It's so sweet. But I uh, also, yeah. I also liked though that Graham Graham was kind of kind of a jerk at times too. That made me laugh. But she's like, yeah, oh, yeah, you really have ruined Christmas. Like, way to go. Oh my God. Yeah, Bridget Bridget <laughs> who played um, Graham Graham. I didn't know this when I cast her. This is her first movie. Oh, really? Interesting. She had, she had never said a line in a, in a movie before. Uh, that's interesting. And I, she, she blew me away. Yeah. I love Graham Graham. I, I want Graham Graham in everything I do. I just think Graham Graham is the best. Uh, she's so sad. <laughs> I, I mean, she just, she just, uh, I'm laughing because she's so funny. And, and, and like one of my favorite moments is when she hands the Christmas ornaments to, to even Lacey from when they were kids. And they're both terrible ornaments or ugly yeah. ornaments. And she hands one to, to Eve and she goes, oh, this is your, the ornament you made. Uh, it's my favorite. And then she hands the other one to Lay Lacey. This is the ornament you made. It's also my favorite. And that to me is one of, that's Graham Graham. Like yeah. <laughs> forget about the, the, the craziness associated with a line like that, which makes, it just makes no sense. But she, it's all because she's, means the best she wants them to feel equally loved but it's also creepy and fun and wacky and i love it i love it love it love it yeah it was really funny and i yeah and i just kind of like how when she thinks that she's ruined christmas like everybody's like yeah you kind of have you really screwed up (laughs) yeah well yeah because you you, you're not you know we're not pulling any punches yeah (laughs) it's you know what i mean it's it's uh it, it, it's fun to play with them being in a quote unquote different universe. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, it's almost like Pleasantville, right. Yeah. Where they, where they go into this town that, you know, it's, it's just a different world. And, mm-hmm. uh, but even in that town, that's a different world. Uh, the, the uh, sadness is real. The yeah. uh, pointing out, I mean, they, they really did point out as much as she pointed out how they're going to save the town. They point out how much it didn't. Mm-hmm. And I think that that's, that wasn't an accident. That was very yeah. kind of, uh, you know, Eve is very perceptive. She knows, she knows what's going on. Yeah. And, and I think that, the, yeah, I think that's yeah. part of the charm of the movie. Well, I know you have to go, but I will just say, I also love the, a Christmas switch that you did. I, I, oh, thank you. I just, I think that that one, I actually had a long, if someone was going to ask me what my pitch was for a Hallmark movie, I w- my idea was to have a stay at home mom and a single, uh, single woman friends that kind of envy each other's lives to have them switch places. And it was basically, basically what you did. Uh, so they were both moms and I, I just really liked it. I liked that neither one was sort of demonized for, their life but they just learn from each other and uh, right, and right. Each other things and uh so i really enjoyed that one as well so you're nailing it well thank <laughs> you so really much I appreciate- well you know did you ever see um love always santa uh yes it's been a while since i've seen it but yeah it's it's a favorite definitely among uh hallmark uh hallmark fans and particularly my friend amber who used to host the show with me uh it's one of her favorites Oh, well, good. Yeah, it's one of mine, yeah. too. That's one of yeah. mine. But that one was the first movie that I made. Uh, that It was independently made, and uh-huh. Hallmark bought yeah. it. We didn't make it for Hallmark. Right. So th- so that was a big kind of victory was mm-hmm. to get it in there. But that, but again, you love Christmas Pen Pals. It's, that's got that kind of – the seed is in Love Always Santa. Oh, yeah. It's true. <laughs> I did. I you did know. love I did love Christmas Pen Pals. Um, I know you did. I know. <laughs> But, but I yeah, it. I mean, I've liked all, I mean, I'm not just saying it cause I'm interviewing you. I keep it real, but I, I really liked, uh, I liked runaway romance. I liked love's last. Oh, thank Report. you. I just, I think thank you're you. doing a great job and I really, I really appreciate so, that. Thank you look, so much. I look forward to your upcoming projects and that was so much fun having Ryan and Sarah on. Well, I'll tell you this, I'll give you an exclusive. Here you go. Here's the exclusive. Uh, it looks like, another Christmas movie that my wife and I pitched to Lifetime. It looks like it's 
getting greenlit. So uh, we're going to write another one and yes. I'm going to direct it and, and hopefully you'll be seeing it this time next year. Well, that's really exciting. We'll definitely have you on again for sure. And thank uh, you. I loved it. I love being a part of it. Thank you so much. <laughs> and do you have a uh, social media that you'd like to share? Oh my gosh. I suck at social media. I, honestly, I'm like <laughs> terrible. Uh, hold on. Let me, hey, Magnum. Wait, Ray, I'm on the podcast and Rachel's asking me what the, if I want to share social media. Do I just say my name from Instagram? Okay. It's my name on Instagram. There you go. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, I, I'll put that in the description. Uh, yeah, would you please? Uh, and I'll put Sarah and Ryan's as well. Uh, yeah, they they're, they're, they'll be. And, uh, yeah, well, Sarah already even put, included your podcast in her story. Oh, in her Instagram story. Uh, yeah. Wait, what? What? Babe? I'm. I'm at Brian Herslinger on Instagram and Twitter. Do you see how this writing relationship yeah, works? Yeah, yeah. Like I say to Megan, I'm like, I don't know what to do here. And she goes, okay, here's what you do. And that, that's pretty much it right there. Tell Megan she needs to come on the podcast as well. <laughs> Megan, okay. uh, you need to come on the podcast as well. So we'll, we'll, we'll do it time. for the next one. But I, but I was talking about you, right? Yeah, I yeah, was. yeah. Okay, good. Well, and say uh, hi to Cleary for us. I will say hi so to Cleary. She's in, she's in school right now. I yeah. will tell her. Okay. Uh, but thank you so much. We really appreciate the kind words you said about Twinkle. And um, uh, I, I look forward to chatting with you again soon. Yes, definitely. Well, have a very uh, happy holidays. <laughs> Whatever you, you, you celebrate. Have a great season. We got, hey, hey, you know what happened? I, now I have a Christmas tree and a menorah. This uh, is amazing. Perfect. Like, I'm, I'm thrilled. We put the tree yeah. up last night. Oh, that's so good. Well, great. Well, thanks so much. And yeah, we will definitely talk again soon. <laughs> and I hope yeah. people watch Twinkle all the way on Lifetime. Uh, what is it? I, I, yeah. December 8th, right? Sunday yep. morning at 11 is, is the hope. So yeah. tune in if you haven't seen it. Definitely. You guys should. And even if you've seen it, watch it again because it's really good. <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay. Bye. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.